I had to sit down. Each thing that is wrong with you has to be a focal point. You can't look at this gigantic list and say, I gotta change all this My God, this is crazy. No, you take off the first one. I wanna be smarter. For me, that was my thing. I have to, I have to become more intelligent. I have such a severe learning disability, I man, I can't retain shit. I had to now get that one thing and then strategize in that one problem. How can I do this? I'm not gonna learn like you. I'm not gonna learn like anybody else. How am I gonna figure this out? So I then figured out, okay, where are my strengths here? Where are my weaknesses in learning? All right, man, how am I gonna do this? And I figured out a way to do it by just strategizing. So how I learn to this day, if I have a big manual to study, I will have to get a bunch of spiral notebooks from the, from the daggone store and each page, I have to write each page out, maybe 10 times. So there was a thousand page dive manual that I got 18 months before I went to dive school. Most people, I'm not smart, I'm gonna go see if I can pass this test. I realized, hang on a second, I'm not smart. How can I get past this? How can I get through this obstacle? I need to get, I need to acquire this book 18 months in advance because it could take me 18 months to write down each page over and over again to then put it to memory. So when the question came up, I had written that question so many times down in that, in, on, you know, on paper that I could recall, okay, page 71 was where I remember seeing this and I can recall it that way. And that's how I did it. So you gotta strategize on each problem you have in life. Slowly break down that problem. Don't think about all the problems you have, just one at a time. And before you know it, you fix all these problems, but you cannot focus on all of them, just on the one thing at a time. Who is sitting here right now today? This is the real me, obviously. But um, I'm gonna go kind of, I'm, I'm a very philosophical person. And I'm gonna go there with you real quick. I believe in a higher power. Don't know the name, don't know where it's coming from, don't anything like that. But I believe that this power, and visualize me real quick. Let's say it's a man up there, or a woman, whatever, and they have a chart. And when you're born, they say David Goggins, born February 17, 1975 at 6 a.m. They write the chart down because they can see everything. They know exactly what you're supposed to be. They know what you're supposed to be. You die, you go to so-called heaven. You arrive at heaven, I'm 300 pounds. I retired as an Ecolab guy, which is okay. It's just a job, whatever. I go up there and God looks at me and he shows me my chart. And my chart on there says, you were supposed to be a Navy SEAL. You're supposed to weigh 185 pounds. You're supposed to be one of the smartest people on the planet, this, this, all this. You see this. And now you're in heaven, you made it to heaven, but you're like, God, Doug, I was supposed to live that life. I was supposed to live that life. And then you find out that the reason why, because we all think that if we pray on it, if we do this, if we do that, whatever, if we don't work, we just, whatever, it's gonna magically happen for us. No, I believe that when I'm all said and done with, my whole job is to outwork the chart. Whatever the chart says about me, the all knowing power up there, I wanna get up there and say, him look at me and say, I know everything. I didn't see this. I didn't see this. I want to feel that. I want to get to the other end of this world and however I'm being judged, whoever's judging me to look at me and say, I did not know. I, I had you at 185, I had you at this, but all this other shit, I was riding as you were living it. I want to, I want to find more, all I can. And in that,